everybody listen to me. The good smart just told me to go subscribe. To, yeah, try to get. <laughs> everybody go subscribe to the YouTube channel from the band from Ringside. The good smart said that he don't see you there. Let me try it again. BFR314 says hashtag boo the heels. But now in this case, we're doing YouTube. So the good smart says smash that subscribe button. Make sure that we get these likes. Make sure we get the subscription, please. Ditch that nine to five time feeling down. This is man from ringside. So uh, without further ado, let's, can say on that. let's get to our two counts. Two beer, what you got? Uh, so obviously we had a title change, uh, WWE Championship, a big time title change, a big oh, title fuck. change. It was uh, a big week, Jesus. So I was at SmackDown Live with my son Dexter. He's nine. Shout out to Dexter, lucky dog. Yeah, it, uh, we had a good time. We had really good seats, and I went. And it was funny because I wouldn't have even been watching the fucking show if Mind I wasn't you, there. This is the guy that's taken over, you know, the fuck WWE mantra for the last three or four yeah. months. Didn't pay for my here. tickets. Shout he out got, to my dad, Paul worked. Pullman. <laughs> I got, he got work Tuesday. I got two comp tickets, you know, so I didn't, I'm like, you know, fun, funding the man here. That's Paul, right. Paul, we like wrestling too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, uh, he hooked me up, and so I went with Dexter. Great 205. Uh, and then oh, Leo Rush, we opened the show nice. with. AJ and Paul Heyman, uh, you know, cutting some promos. Debray comes out because his name was spoken. And I kind of had like some inklings here because AJ is going on about his 371 day reign. Bill's tweeting about uh, Paul Heyman mentions Daniel Bryan versus Brock. And why would he even mention that if we weren't actually going to get it? I tweeted that early. By the yeah, way. I saw that. Very saw prophetic. That. Uh, Nostradamus, aka Nostradamus. No shit. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we get the title match, and I was fucking so excited because I'm like, I did not go into this live show thinking uh, that it was going to be great, let alone I'd get to see AJ versus Daniel Bryan. No, and you thought it'd be another shitty WWE go-home show. Absolutely. Totally. And probably the whole a, time... Probably a tag team at the end. Totally. Like, yeah. trying to build up the... Yeah. Yeah. So Whatever. The whole time, there's the red herring. We're all thinking that... Raw is going to come out and ruin this match. Chekhov's gun. Yes, Chekhov's gun. They show the security. The security uh, is obviously going to need to be used, but it didn't need to be. And I was marking out so hard during this match, and it was so funny because there's a guy behind us, and he's one of those guys that always tries to put himself over at a show, like, good with the chance. And it was funny, uh, but definitely trying to put himself over. But he's chanting Daniel Bryan the whole time, and there's like 30 kids, my son including, wearing AJ Styles gloves and, and shirts, and they're all chanting back AJ Styles at him. And it was just over-the-top crazy. Whenever he did that low blow, like, I mean, the fucking place was just confused from that point. You so, could see on TV, as I was watching it live, you could tell on TV that th when the low blow happened, first of all, I was like, ooh, oh, here we go. And yeah. like, But the crowd died. It was very similar. I mean, I know that people that don't watch wrestling, I know there are people that don't watch wrestling and listen to this show. I know that they think we made a, like, a big deal out of Dean turning a couple weeks ago. But Daniel Bryan turning is... That was a big deal. It was unexpected. It's kind of a big deal. As yeah. big of a deal. It wasn't as good of a turn, but it's as big of a deal for Daniel Bryan to turn. The and after the, effect, and the, after the match when he stomped him out, that's when I was like, okay, now this is a but, heel but turn. When he did, I like When this. he did the low blow, you knew the crowd died. Yep, and you, you knew the finish at that point. Like, you right. knew what was going to happen. Oh, yeah. And he hits the knee. And half the crowd still chanting yes because we want to see a fucking title change. You know, sure. like we want to be part of that yeah. like history and, and uh, part of that moment. Title changes are cool, yeah. especially a title change that's lasted for 371 days under AJ Styles. A it significant a title Smackdown. change. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's and it a, happened on a TV show. Right, yeah. uh, Jason. I'm still processing this. I, I mean, I've been thinking about it all day today. I'll just start with AJ Styles first because obviously as former champion, I think we need to give him the respect. Uh, being over a year as WWE champion, maybe not the greatest booking of matches, maybe not the best finishes of matches, but nonetheless, he did hold the belt for a calendar year plus. There's something to be said about pretty, that. Pretty rare in the last 30 years. Exactly. So Doesn't happen a whole lot. You know, like I said before, and, I, and I've been calling for it. I'm not going to sit up here and, and be a hypocrite. I called for the, the, this reign to end because at a certain point, to me, enough was enough. I, are I don't are you happy see, with it? I, yeah, 
Well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, but I, to me, it's like a cop out. You kind of knew we wanted this rematch with AJ versus Brock. I was excited for it because now I'm like, okay, as an AJ guy, I want to see the revenge. You match. and I, you and I stood outside of the bar and smoked a cigarette, and I said, "This is all good as long as AJ wins." And you slapped me in the chest, and you were like, "Exactly, exactly, as long as AJ, AJ wins, wins, right? Perfect, right?" So we're on track to this. I didn't see it after the fact. Actually, it was spoiled for me, but I was like, okay, I want to see how this is all set up. It's set up pretty good. The go blows caught me off guard because I was like, oh, oh, shit. Okay. I just knew that nobody, AJ Nobody lost. saw the heel turn coming. Nobody saw the heel turn coming, so that was good. If you say you saw the heel turn coming. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. I yeah. agree. You're full of shit. So now, fast forward, I'm like, okay, so now, damn, we got Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar, oh man, shit! Now you know what's going. Well, at least I think I know what's going to happen. Now, to me, that change it's you copped out of having another dream match for this match. Is this Say, not like a dream match though? Because it's a nope. new match. No, nope. no, it's a dream match. No, it isn't. I'd rather see this than another AJ Brock match. Wait, shit. is it is it not a dream match Agreed. because they're both heels? No, it has nothing to do with that. I think it's it's gotten it was wait it was it, unpredictable. What, it was why less is this not a dream match? Then? It was less predictable beforehand than it is now. I'll say that's why I don't think it's a dream match. It's no, going to be it's nice. a dream match because they never. It's going to be nice. Anywhere. You're going to see the same. It's going to be basically the same blueprint we saw last we're gonna year. Ha- we're going to have Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar for okay. the first time anywhere. Great. Anywhere. Great. Main event. On Sunday, and also Nakamura versus Rollins for the first time anywhere on and, Sunday. And thank you for bringing up Nakamura. That's the motherfucker that needs to be pissed. How many times I kick AJ in the Styles in the balls and I can't get a pin? <laughs> That's the motherfucker that no, needs to be you pissed. You know who should be pissed is AJ Styles for taking it so many times in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Murray. Uh, I, I like He's it. just a good Catholic I, and won't get a vasectomy. So. I like it because Shout out it to Vice. <laughs> 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 it was supposed to be private. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I liked it because it was a total surprise. And I, I, okay, so I don't know if it's a convenient thing or if it's something that creative is slowly starting to pepper in because they're noticing things like Becky working as quote unquote heels, but they're flipping a lot of the best talent heel all of a sudden. Apparently, Daniel's been asking for it. Yeah. So, well, well good because he's been such a. Plus, squeaky clean. Yeah, no, he, he can. No, he needed a fr- he needed he can a brutalize up. some motherfuckers. Of course, I like, like those better. kicks to the face. I was like, I was, I was one of those guys. I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if I was on TV afterwards because I was like, hands over my face, like, yeah. oh my god, well, oh my god. Go back to when he choked out the the commentator with the, with his own tie and got fired for Justin it. Like, that was intensity yeah. out of that little guy yeah. that made everybody blow up. This so. is a little bit more American Dragon uh, yeah. that we haven't seen in WWE I, for a I, while. I'm into it. I'm, I'm a, agree. I agree with Jason. I would have liked to have seen AJ Brock again, but I'm curious to see if they're gonna swerve us on who wins. I th- I think the only thing the, new one. the only thing that gives me any sort of uh, pause when I think about Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar for the first time is that a there's been no build. Yeah. B it's heel versus heel. That is, that is that, I, I, that I is not. I'm not going. I'm going to disagree unless they're with flipping that. Brock. I'm, no, face. they're not going to flip Brock. <laughs> they're not flipping Brock. Brock. Okay, to I me, love it's the Daniel lesser Bryan as a heel. I love Daniel Bryan as a heel. I used to. Lo- you remember the yes, yes, yes started off with the no, no, no. 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 Yeah, yeah. That the only way that yes, yes, yes even came into existence because he used to go no, no, no because they used to try to team uh, hell no. cheer him. What I'll say about put and. I can't believe we haven't even broached this yet, is that the only reason that Vince put the belt on Daniel Bryan was as a reaction to Becky Lynch being hurt and not being able to take on Ronda Rousey. I think that I disagree. Don't, I, that, that one has nothing to do with the other. Of course they have something to do with the other. They blew up the entire Survivor Series card because Becky Lynch couldn't take on Ronda Rousey. Why else? Just a week ago, and just on Raw... They were doing advertisements for Miz versus Daniel Bryan as that was the big hook for Survivor Series that these two guys were part of, they were co-captains of the, of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. And then Becky Lynch gets hurt. Four o'clock in the afternoon. 
fucking seven o'clock in the afternoon, seven o'clock at night, they start SmackDown, and now all of a sudden there's a main event match that's AJ versus Daniel Bryan, and then Daniel Bryan wins because Vince wanted to make a splash and have it be Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar in the main event. Disagree with that at your own peril, sir. I mean, may I retort? Well, go, yeah. ahead. No, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go first. It go is, ahead, Tubier. It's all conjecture. You know, it's all conjecture. We don't know anything. Who do you think's right? I don't know. Like, I, I, I have I no idea. I haven't presented my case, Johanna. I'm the only thing. So, um. That's enough out of you. <laughs> Observer came out Bailiff today <laughs> and, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, whether you, you know, I mean, Melcher's been reporting for a long time, but Observer came out today and said that this championship match was decided on during the weekend, but the heel turn was not decided on until today or the, the, the day, day of. of Tuesday. So the heel turn was the day of, but they had already decided on Daniel Bryan versus, um, Brock what Lesnar. makes you think? Just saying. Just put, I don't know if you want to agree with it. No, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Every, everything is conjecture. They, 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 did, they did the same thing last year because gender, 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 gender had okay, it okay. So right. we, they already kind of foreshadowed it. What makes you think that if let's just say for the sake of argument, Daniel Bryan does not say that he doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia. So they had the title match. What makes you think that that wasn't going to be the time that there was going to be a title change until he said no, I don't want to go. Now you have to make the audible. You have you have Wait, Daniel are you Bryan saying, lose. Are you saying that the title would have changed in Saudi Arabia? I'm saying that there was going to be a title change in Saudi Arabia. That's the, not, not, that a heel, was, not a heel turn. Not but, a heel turn. But there was going to be a title change. Daniel Bryan was going to win the title. That was right around where AJ was close to, if not over a year. Okay. Okay. So why so, did they advertise on Raw to swerve? And, thank you. They got you, dog. No. It's okay. You just worked Everybody yourself into a shoot. From time Much to love, time. brother. They got you. H-H. <laughs> <laughs> they got you, dog. It's okay. It's okay. Smart it happens. Ma- Smart happens. Malberg over here. Okay, it happens you, to the best You of think us. that I got worked. You got worked. You got worked. You guys are fucking insane. You guys are fucking <laughs> insane. You got if you guys really okay. think, no, if you guys really think, you, I thought point. the same thing you did too. And like that was my initial knee jerk reaction. Of course, reaction. that was a panic move by Vince. That was not a pa- the panic move. So is the, the Charlotte move. So the that's pl- the panic move. So yeah, the plan, that should have been Oscar. So the plan was whole. The plan the whole time was to have Daniel Bryan win, win the, the belt title on SmackDown before. That that was Either, planned. That was planned. the only reason that they had that on the SmackDown before is because that Daniel Bryan said he didn't want to go to Saudi. That was the plan planned. was that for was Daniel Bryan to win in Saudi Arabia. Now he's WWE champion, and everything goes along as planned. The heel turn was decided. That Tuesday, Vince was like, well, fuck it. As long as we going to do it, let's double down, motherfucker. It's like, when I'm at, it's like whenever down. I'm at Soul Taco and I'm like, yeah, I'm already getting the burrito. I might as well get another burrito. And yeah, let's do this kimchi fries. And uh, yeah, my wife's stickers. already mad at me, so let's do some pot stickers. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Fuck it. I'm, we going out. <laughs> hey, guys, if I, if I don't answer my text messages tomorrow... No, his name is Jason Cornelius Bell. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in University City. <laughs> I, blew, I drive a blue Chevy Cruze. I ain't scared. Come how your I, boy. I, I think that's crazy. Am, am I the only one in this room that thinks that that was a panic move by Vince to put the belt on Daniel I, Bryan? I don't, that, that's no, insane. I don't think move. that you're... Charlotte's the panic move. I Yes. I Th- can there was all sorts of panic moves. Charlotte is the bigger panic. Movie. I I absolutely see that's, that's dumb. All no, sides. We don't know because it's Vince and he's you know we we just don't know. Like, I feel like you're in a panic move right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cal- calmer than you are. <laughs> calmer than you are, dude. <laughs> calmer than Scrambling you are. Randall over here. <laughs> you're not wrong. Right. You're just a fucking asshole. <laughs> we'll get to our three counts. <laughs> Man. Jason, just make the three count F and B eatery. I gotta pee. <laughs> no, we're gonna talk NXT. I can do this. All right, we can I talk can NXT. T- we yeah. only got three minutes to talk NXT. We gonna do predictions? Yeah, we got predictions on NXT they go, too. They just go through predictions. We got three minutes. Go. I, no. Well, we're gonna do that on our predictions. They're done in two minutes. Okay, fine. All right, no, we'll do our predictions. See, we got Tommaso Ciampa. God, I hate you right versus now. Versus the Velveteen Dream. Don't don't play the music, Sam. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll wait for the we'll yeah, wait we'll for wait the for music. The big one, yeah. So, uh, Sam, who do you have? Velveteen Dream or Tommaso Ciampa? Velveteen Dream. All right, Sam Bo's got Velveteen, Velveteen Dream. Dream. Who do you got? 
R E A M is. I got to take Champa here. It just, I would love Velveteen Dream to win. That would be the ultimate, but it's not going to happen. Murray? Champa. I'm in the predictions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in the prediction. This is my first. You got to catch up. So if you don't win, I know that you're like about a half a year back. So if you don't win, you got to take a chop. <laughs> <laughs> Bill still hasn't taken his chop. Right? I was just getting ready to say. Put I'm in the my, lead, motherfuckers. Put it on my tab. <laughs> Zach, who you got? I got Tommaso Ciampa. I mean, I'm a dream mark, but yeah, this ain't God, the day. The same here. I'm taking Tommaso Ciampa that also. Would, dude, that would be so sweet. Okay, we have the War Games match with the Undisputed oh. Era. You know what, Sam? You got that music? <laughs> See, you think thinking Kyle O'Reilly. See? Kyle O'Reilly, Kyle O'Reilly fought Hanson on NXT See, this week. Really good match. It was fucking awesome. Really good match. Probably my second That's, favorite match of the week from uh, WWE. God damn, it was so great. Um, They're both great wrestlers. Yeah, and they 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 really did the um, they did the thing where like Hanson's so much bigger than Kyle O'Reilly, but Kyle O'Reilly kept kind of like finding the, like the wily ways to get out of it. You know? spot yeah. it was, here, it was you so know, it was so good. O'Reilly is there. underrated as fuck, dude. Like oh, yeah. everybody talks about Adam Cole, O'Reilly's Kyle a better O'Reilly wrestler than is. Adam Cole. Absolutely. I'll say this, I'll say this about Kyle O'Reilly. He's got the best kicks in the biz. Absolutely, good good kicks. He's the best. Yeah. His Hometown kicks are kid. unbelievable. All right, so uh, Sam, you got the Undisputed Era versus Ricochet, the War Raiders, and Pete Dunn. Who are you going to take? Don't get up to him, Mike. Just yell at me. You're <laughs> taking the Undisputed Era? Okay, yeah, okay. Murray, who you got? I'm, I'm going to go with with the opposite of last year, and I'm going to go with uh, Ricochet and, and, and the boys. You're taking the others. I'm taking the, the faces here. Okay. All right. It's so fun to see Pete Dunn work face. Oh my Everybody God. loves him, but he still is not like a baby not face. Yeah. It's In it's a just War like, Games match, I am going to take the Undisputed Era. What's that? It's fucking Undisputed Era. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you gotta do the, the U-E. West. It's the West, though. Yeah, what is that? That's the East. Yeah, I don't understand that. That's the that. E. U-E. U-E. I'm, I'm, Jesus. I'm 39, man. I don't understand that. Oh, my God. This guy doesn't watch amazing. NXT either. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I watch it all the fucking I, 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 I know you ain't talking. You over here marking out all the product that you Thank ain't supposed you. to be watching. Jason never has my back. Thank you for having my back, Brad. I got you. I got you. Scorpios. All right. I feel attacked. So what, who you got? Who you got? <laughs> I'm going to go with the faces on this one. I know. I feel like I should go Undisputed Era, but I just got the feeling the faces are going to come out with this. All right. Uh, next. Next up, we have Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. Do we uh, this need- is actually off the card. It's going to be on TV the next week. Uh, it's going to oh. be filmed. It showed up on Wikipedia, which is the only reason I included it. Yeah, so, so the, the only re- they went with four matches because two out of three with Shayna Baszler and the War Games are going to be so long that okay. they're actually just want a tighter well, Matt, match. Matt Riddle is going to win it anyway. So the so opposite we'll just, of we'll Survivor just, Series. We'll just cross it out. <laughs> um, I agree. We have Shayna Baszler oh, versus Kyrie Sane. Sam, don't be a sexist. You have to judge the women too, okay? God. Oh God, I wish I had him on camera for this. <laughs> There's such three a, of them on him right now. I can't believe he's such a sexist. Oh that, yeah, nice. Did we get that? There's, there's got to be somewhere. Son oh, of a yeah. bitch. We'll make a gif. We'll make, a gif we'll make a gif of that. Right. <laughs> he's got Kyrie saying, "Man, Sam's really going against the grain here." Oh, no, I like it. I like it. Uh, I'll go next. I'll go Shayna Baszler. Uh, Murray. I got that Shayna Baszler, son. What's that? That's, that's the Delta? No, that's, that's the, her spade. Yeah, spade. Gonna, it's the, you don't watch NXT. You don't know. I guess not. The gang Jesus signs Christ, are not for you. Man, what are you doing? I don't, I don't even you're know. You're not into She's gang got signs. that, like, card tattoo. I <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> guys, I have a job. I do, too. I do, too. Well, yeah, I do, too. It's just at night. Zach Pullman. <laughs> Who you got? Uh, Shayna Baszler. I love Carrie Sane, but it, it ain't gonna happen. Man, Sam, is it t- but I've already turned the predictions in, so I'll stick to it. Uh, Shayna Baszler should win this. It, it's just a shame because I, I, if I haven't said, it, I'm gonna say it right now. Sane deserves a longer title reign. It just feels like they just snatched it away from her to give it back to Shayna Baszler for whatever reason. I think Kari Sane has just gotten robbed on her title reign. So who are you taking? Shayna Baszler. All right, and last but not least, uh, Sam, I am. We got Johnny Gargano versus Aleister Black. 
Oh, he's taking Johnny Gargano. He's disgusted by the name Aleister Black. Uh, I will take... Oh, shit. I hadn't even thought about this one. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do? I think I'll take... I'll take Black. I knew you were gonna do that. I always been on Black. Good man. <laughs> Except um, for when I'm voting. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm on a street Democratic ticket. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> there are black Republicans out there, just for the record. Um, I'm taking Not Gargano. The good ones. I'm taking Gargano here, and I'm just going to throw it out here. Candice Gray has been kind of acting heelish lately. All black uh, two a week ago. Yeah, that black lipstick. Okay. Nikki Cross, it, oh. something's happening there. I don't know what it is. Just call me crazy. I won't be surprised if she gets involved. You got Murray? Nikki Cross, forever. Um, Alistair Black. And my dude. Two beer. Zach Pullman. I got Alistair Black just because he's been on the shelf for so long. They want to give him some fucking heat, you know, some some good heat. Gargano's going to go back to uh, Ciampa anyways, so I think so. Like a All DIY? Right. or No, no, no. Like another feud. Gotcha. Can you kill the music for our third sponsor, JCB?